Today, only Russia, America, and China have bombers, which nearly all countries had about 50 years ago. In this video, I will talk about the Pact da program of Russia, the largest bomber fleet in the world. In the meantime, I will shoot a video about the B-21 Raider when the B-21 Raider bomber, which will be unveiled in December, is announced and its technical specifications are determined. Stay tuned. The Kremlin's work on stealth planes began in the 1980s. Project 1.44, Su-47 Burkut, and then the Su-57 emerged at the end of the 2000s. On the one hand, Moscow was developing a bomber that would use the same technology and infrastructure while making fifth-generation warplanes. Tupolev firm undertook the PAC-DA tender, and in 2013 the PAC-DA program was officially introduced. The Tupolev firm was very ambitious. This aircraft to be developed would be a new generation Sapsonic bomber. It would have a range of 12,000 kilometers and a capacity to carry 30 tons of ammunition. And there would be only two personnel on the plane. Tupolev would build the first prototype in 2015, make its maiden flight in 2016, and deliver the first aircraft to the Russian Air Force in 2019. And by 2030, it was planned to deliver at least 60 bombers to the Russian Air Force. But, as you'll notice, this did not happen. As with many today's aviation projects, there were delays in the PAC-DA project. The first prototype was expected to be produced in 2015, but even though we are in 2022, a prototype has not been produced yet. Tupolev has announced that it will produce the first flying prototype in 2025. Mass production is planned to start in 2030, and by 2032, the Russian Air Force will replace the next-generation PAC-DA bombers with Tu-160 and Tu-95s. There is no technical information about this aircraft, but according to some official documents announced by the Tupolev company, this aircraft is expected to resemble the American B-2 bomber in size. This aircraft, which is expected to have an average cruising speed of 800 kilometers per hour, will have four engines. These engines will most likely be different versions of the ALF-41 engines developed for the Su-57. There will be two crew members as standard, but four crew members will be able to serve in special cases. The PAC-DA, which is planned to have full stealth characteristics, will have a range of 12,000 kilometers and can carry a total of 30 tons of ammunition. These munitions will include guided and unguided bombs, anti-ship missiles, and nuclear warhead cruise missiles. A new generation of ammunition is also planned to be developed for this aircraft. It is also planned to turn these aircraft into command and control centers for UAV and drone swarms. These were the technical specifications determined in the PAC-DA project. However, according to many military authorities, there is no way for Russia to finish this project because they claim that Russia does not have enough money and technology to build such a large bomber fleet. Tupolev said that they will produce the first prototype in 2025. Now we'll wait and see. Do not forget to indicate your ideas in the comments. As I always do, I include the sources I used while preparing this video in the description section. Have a nice day.